Hey, it's good to be with you guys today. Welcome to our daily reflection. We began the series uh, of Advent or the season of Advent yesterday. That was day one. So I hope that you have your kit and that you took it out yesterday and you began the Advent season by reading the devotional and the scripture passage from Isaiah and then uh, just talking about the reflection question. Maybe you did it at the dinner table or in the evening before preparing for bedtime or however you might have been able to do that. I hope that you'll find the space to do that each day as we go through the season. And so I uh, really look forward to the Advent season. I've said that before because Advent is not just a time to get ready for the holidays. Um, most people look at December as just a ramp up to the holiday and the whole month is just getting ready. Running around, buying stuff, going places, wrapping presents, preparing for parties, cleaning the house, cooking foods, and all of those many, many things. But what we forget is that Advent really is a spiritually transformative time for us as we think about the incarnation of Christ. And we not only prepare for events and holidays, but we prepare our hearts to receive what God wants to say to us as we go through this season. And so um, Advent is awesome. It focuses on the incarnation, uh, Jesus coming as a, a baby. It focuses on what Jesus does in our lives through his spirit each and every day. And it focuses on the second coming and how he will come back again. I like what one author wrote. He said this about Advent. He said, Advent is not a warm fuzzy, but rather a real word to a fractured hysterical people rushing to find happiness and a sense of family in all the wrong places. Advent has hard edges. It looks to the cross that hangs over the manger. It says that Christ will come again and not in swaddling clothes. Yet when the madness of December is over in the mall, the church will still be standing like a light on a hill giving direction and hope to all who have lost their way. And so I hope that this Advent season is like that for you, a hope to help you find your way through the madness of what, uh, what our culture calls Christmas. So Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Here's our verse for today. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And so I hope that you had uh, a chance to read the devotional for today. You know, the, the side of the card that goes along with the verse, because that kind of plays into what we're talking about. If not, you could just pause the video and go read that and come back to this. Um, but do you ever, do you get excited about uh, Christmas? The devotional talked a little bit about our anticipation of Christmas and the expectancy, the excitement of it. I really do get excited about Christmas. And uh, maybe part of the reason for that is when I was a child, I just have a storehouse of really wonderful memories of Christmas time. We had a good family, uh, brothers and sisters, uh, loving mom and dad who loved to celebrate Christmas and buy gifts for the kids and um, it was just a lot of fun. I can remember so many Christmas mornings where we were opening presents and giving hugs and saying thank you, and it was just wonderful. And the anticipation of Christmas, even from a little bitty child, I can remember going up into the attic and looking out the window of the attic and thinking about how Santa Claus is going to uh, land his sleigh on our roof. Where is he going to let it rest? And then how's he going to come down the fireplace into the, living, into the living room to hand out the presents or to place the presents around the tree? So I was fully bought in to Santa Claus as a little bitty guy. And I think just, you know, the wonderful memories and that sense of anticipation stays with me even today. And so maybe that's like, um, it's like that for you. You have a lot of wonderful memories about Christmas and it's just a joyful time in your year? Well, we do anticipate the coming of the Christ child, and we anticipate him coming again. 
And so I think the question for us is, does that expectation, does that breathe life into you? Does that anticipation of Jesus coming again, does that fill you with excitement? Does that give you a sense of longing as you think about that? Um, as we set aside time each day to pause and to read and to reflect and to pray um, through these next several weeks, we anticipate that God's going to do something in our hearts as we separate that time um, and, and set ourselves uh, apart in order to think and to consider and to pray. And so we believe that God is going to do something significant during this Advent season. You know, I love Philippians chapter 3, verse 20, where it says, But our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we eagerly await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. And so the emphasis for me is on the word eagerly. We eagerly await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. And so as I lean into this Advent season, I just want to be in touch with my own longing for Christ. You know, the longing, I mean, I would love to be in that moment, um, you know, when Jesus was born and Mary and Joseph and the shepherds were there and uh, the incredible awe and mystery and holiness of that moment. And then I want to lean in to what it means that Jesus lives with me and by his spirit is within me and what that can mean for me today as I live my life for Christ and I see him at work in my life and I long to do the things that he's prepared for me to do. And as I think about the second coming of Jesus, as I said a moment ago, he's not going to be coming in swaddling clothes. He's coming as a king. He's coming for judgment. And so all of us can look forward to that with certainty, knowing that Jesus is going to make everything right. He's going to settle every account. He's going to dry up every tear, and he's going to remove all pain. And so um, I just want to encourage you, um, lean in to this Advent season and ask God to do something in your heart that couldn't be accomplished any other way. And I believe that God will answer that prayer. So would you pray with me um, as we enter into our day? Father, we thank you for this new day, and we thank you for your love for us. Your love uh, meets us every day. Your mercies are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. And so, uh, Lord Jesus, we just pray as we enter into this first week, the week of hope, that, uh, Lord, um, you would help us to have great hope, even as uh, yesterday, we talked about the prophecies of Jesus that were fulfilled. Um, Lord, give us great confidence, knowing that your word is always true, that you fulfill every promise. And so we thank you for that. And so as we uh, think about today and what you're going to do in our lives today, and as we think about the ultimate day when you come again to receive us to yourself, Lord, build into our lives great confidence, um, great certainty, a strength and a courage that will uh, make us strong as we go through each day. And so, Father, we thank you for that. Um, Lord, help us to lean into our own longing and anticipation. Whatever it is in our hearts that we're longing for today, whatever brings us pain or, or difficulty, um, whatever it might be that's challenging our lives, um, Lord, we lean into that longing. Know that you, knowing that you understand and that you will meet us in that. And so we give you praise and glory uh, for this day and pray that you would use us for your purpose. And we together pray in Jesus' name and we all together say amen. So right behind me, you can see the uh, Advent candles and the, the cards with the devotionals on them. I brought it in here just so it would be in the backdrop. It's actually going to be on our dining room table, and we'll use it uh, each dinner time that we're at the table. So however you want to use it, I hope that you will definitely do that. God bless you guys. Uh, be with us tomorrow, as again, we'll be sharing a devotional. Doug Carroll will share a devotional from the, the card uh, that you have as part of your kit. And so God bless you guys. Have a great day.